children, today I have some food for thought. And um, this has to do with something that has, I think, plagued humans ever since we first started eating. Or when we first started coming into this world, and that is the cancer cell. And I think what I'm going for is, since Deadpool is pretty much immortal, kind of like Wolverine, uh, based on the Deadpool movie, he has cancer cells inside of him that pretty much make him immortal. And the thing is, I was looking up some studies on, uh, I was looking up ways of how cancer cells actually work. And what I found out is that they actually do not die, but repair themselves. Or I think that's how it goes. I think they either repair themselves or they just, they don't die at all. So they're constantly going. So my thought was, what if we could use that as the fountain of youth? What if we could somehow manipulate cancer cells instead of killing us we technically could make ourselves immortal we technically could live forever I mean if you really think about it it we have a hard time killing the bastards anyway so why not use them as an advantage and turn it into a gift instead of curse um, I was I happened to s just watching a few people on the anime cells at work where they were fighting cancer and um, I was like yeah that you know you'd have had to fight cancer but what if you manipulated it I mean we manipulate the genes of everything from food to every to to hell even uh, a freaking goat that spray that at milk that has spider silk so why not take the chance and manipulate cancer instead of trying to eradicate it why not instead of instead of having it kill you how about have it repair yourself repair stuff since it's a virus we've used viruses all the time or bacteria to help cure the body so why not use cancer cells to pretty much say hey instead of destroying your host how about you repair it and therefore immortality the fountain of youth literally legitimately the fountain of youth you pretty much could take that as the fountain of youth I just thought that that would be pretty much interesting if we could uh, if we could use that I mean no one's tried anything like that so instead of trying to kill it, why not try to manipulate it? I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I mean, if we're not going to cure it, I mean, we have pretty much, it's been about 100 years, maybe 110 years, since 19, 1900s, where the Earth has made strides in combating humanity's pollution that we've done to it. Uh, there's fungus that eats uh, plastic. That's, not, that's unheard of. You never would have thought a fungus would eat plastic, but Mother Nature made it. Uh, there's insects that eat styrofoam. I happened to look that up. I thought that was pretty interesting. So if it takes 100 years to uh, 100 to 200 years to find for Mother Nature to find a cure for itself, well, we, hu we humans are going to be fucked anyway, so we might as well try something else. Because if we can't find cures for a simple diabetes... Diabetes can be cured if we just figure out how to re uh, boost pancreatic cells, how to jumpstart the pancreas or remove it. I'm a diabetic, so I always look up stuff for uh, stuff that has to do with um, uh, like uh, beta cells. Like there's, like the moment someone has a test ready for pancre uh, for curing di type one diabetes, I'm jumping on that thing even if it's gonna kill me. If they say the likelihood of you surviving this is shit and you're gonna die, most likely you're gonna end up dead. I'm like, yeah, what do I have to live for? If I could find, if we could find a cure for this thing, I'd take it. So I was thinking, that's when I started thinking about 
um, it, the those cancer cells. I'm like, why not use those to pro to help sustain life? I mean, technically they are immortal. They're hard to kill, and they destroy the body. But if we could manipulate them, technically there you go. Maybe a hundred years down the line, humanity has stopped has finally finally been able to find cancer cells and able to make the fountain of youth but I just thought that that'd be some cool food, uh, food for thought you know using cancer cells to pretty much use it for the fountain of youth use to we pretty much have it we have the fountain of youth which is cancer cells a cell that does not die that can take everything that can take Food that there's nothing left. According to it, it has the food left, nothing left of its favorite food, which is sugar, but can eat anything else. But maybe we can manipulate it somehow. But I just thought that'd be some food for thought instead of instead of you, instead of trying to cure it, since we can't seem to get off our asses and do it. Um, why not try to manipulate it to help uh, to help us? You know. I mean that's the way I always see it. Instead of trying to try to kill it, why not use it as to our advantage? You know, um, instead of killing it, just have it to where it fixes the body. But I just thought I have that food for thought. I thought, see what your guys' thought on of using that. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Talk to you guys later, and as always, do not get stabbed during the apocalypse. Bye, everyone.